Hi everyone, this is Paul J. Adam. I recently received a Google Nexus 7 tablet for accessibility testing purposes and I wanted to create a video tutorial so that people could see how accessibility works and hear it as well. So I will um, go to the settings so we can enable accessibility. So you have to tap this button here to show all your apps and then go to the settings app and then scroll down to accessibility here you have the different accessibility features and settings that are there by default one of the first ones I'd want to enable is large text this text is really small right now I can barely read it so if I enable large text much easier to read second one that is useful for much more than accessibility is auto rotate screen so now you know if I rotate my screen like this it still stays in the um, portrait orientation does not rotate to landscape if I want to go to landscape I have to enable auto rotate screen and now when I rotate to landscape it works okay So, um, the next thing is this Enhance Web Accessibility. If you want to use the Chrome app, the web browser app, with TalkBack, you'll have to enable this or else it will not work. So, click that. Do you want to apps install scripts from Google that make their web content more accessible? Allow. <laughs> now we can turn on TalkBack and you activate this little checkbox button here which is really nasty looking square not nearly as elegant as iOS um, but you tap that to enable it and it says that TalkBack collects the text that you type except passwords and this includes personal data such as credit card numbers and it collects data about your interactions with the tablet and I guess it sends it to Google. I don't know. So hit OK because you have to. List showing one items disabled. And now TalkBack is on. When TalkBack is on, your device provides spoken feedback to help blind and low vision users. For example, it describes what you touch, select, and activate. So I've turned it on. Now if you see this red box here, actually visually showed the talkback speech output on the screen um, which is a neat feature so that someone who's deaf could actually see the screen reader output and to turn that on it took me a while to find it because I did not realize that this settings text here is actually a button it doesn't really look like a button um, but that's where it is so you have to go there first settings and once you select something, just like on iOS, you double tap to activate the item that you selected. Top back settings, list showing 12 items, showing items 1 to 12 of 12. And here are the various talk back settings. And to enable um, the text to be visible on the screen, the speech output, you go to the developer settings. Developer settings. Alert, list showing three items, showing display speech output checkbox, checked. And you check display speech output. Back, top back settings, list showing 12 items. So I thought what would make an interesting video is to launch the Explore by Touch tutorial. Launch Explore by Touch tutorial. Accessibility tutorial, grid showing 28 items. When Explore by Touch is turned on, you can touch the screen to learn what's under your finger. For example, the current screen contains app icons. Find one of them by touching the screen and sliding your finger around. So you just move your fingers around and it speaks whatever you touch. Gmail. Play Store. Good. Keep sliding your finger around the screen until you find at least one more icon. Map. Settings. 
clock. You can also explore by swiping your finger left and right anywhere on the screen. Try quickly swiping from left to right to move to the next icon. So this is what they refer to as linear navigation. And you can swipe left or right or up or down, it doesn't matter. Email, gallery, maps, settings, talk, play store, gmail, play movies, play YouTube, play Chrome. Also, play up YouTube, or down. YouTube. Either way. So I guess I need to hit next now. Next button. List showing 15 items. To scroll through a list, you can slide two fingers along the screen. For example, the current screen contains a list of app names that can scroll up or down. First, try to explore the screen and identify an app, showing items 1 to 15 of 34. So this is teaching you how to scroll through a list, which is very different than the way you would do it on iOS. The items that are not visible on this list cannot be navigated to through linear navigation. You have to actually use two fingers and scroll down to the next screen or else they won't be visible. So first it's telling me just to select an item. Clock. Email. Now place two fingers on an item in the list and slide both fingers up. If you reach the top of the screen, lift your fingers, place them lower on the list, and continue sliding up. Gallery, map, so I'll show you how top, I can't play, get to the other play, items. Play, YouTube, play, preview, next, lesson, set, maps, There's other gallery, items there, email. but they're not visible, so I can't get to them unless I use two fingers and slide down. Latitude. Explore the screen to find one more app. Google Mess and Earth. Ideal accessibility installer. You can also scroll an entire page by swiping your finger. Scroll to the next page by swiping quickly starting from the left and going right, then moving back left. Okay. Left, then right, then moving back left. This one, it starts to get real difficult to remember all these gestures. Explore the screen again to find an app in the current page. Okay. Latitude. This is how you... Books. Swiping the opposite direction, going left and back, will move to the previous page. Try swiping to scroll to the previous page. Okay, so depending on which way you slide your fingers in this back and forth motion, you'll scroll through the list. To move. Latitude. It's real easier just to use two fingers. Showing items 10 to 20. Got the inertial the scroll. Latitude. Playbooks, Latitude, Local, Nav, Google, Walk, Google, Messenger. Okay, so I guess I have to next. Hit next. By default, swiping left and right reads blocks of text all at once. You can also read through blocks of on-screen text by word or character. First, find the text that begins with the word this. Okay, this is how to read by different element levels, characters, words, paragraphs, lines. This is an example of a previous button. Next, touch disabled while tutorial. This is an example of a large block. Read by paragraph. Read by word. This is an okay, so example. To move out of the current block of text, you will need to return to the default reading level. Swipe in the opposite direction, up and back down, to return to the default reading level. Then find the finish button at the bottom right and double tap to activate it and exit the tutorial. So to change your reading level, you do this up-down swipe motion. Whereas to go scroll and list or go through screens, you do the left to right. Um, so, you know, up, down, down, up real fast to change those levels. Okay. Example. Oh. And is read by character, default reading level, read by paragraph. This. This is an exit. This is the second pair. This is the third and final paragraph. Swipe down and up to change the reading level. Then swipe default reading level. Read by character. T X E T space S. Okay, so I think that is mostly the Finish it button. for the tutorial. Top back settings. List showing 12 items. Alright, I'm done with that. And I'll end this video before I mess something up. Thanks, everybody. Bye.